All right, Geminis, I'm sorry. That was my mom. But there's a part one to this. You may want to go watch part one before you get into this. Um, it's juicy. It's all good. It's all good stuff here, especially if you're dealing with somebody who is a bit indecisive and immature in their emotions. This may be your story. All right, so we were talking about this person thinking about you and the memories that you shared. I don't give a fuck how long you've been with them. If you've been with them a day, a week, a month, a year, a decade, this person is thinking about that, them text messages, the time you seen them, the time y'all had sex, the time y'all party together, they're thinking, okay? They're thinking about how you look. They're thinking about what you did, what y'all spoke about. They're thinking heavily about you right now, okay? But they're not making a movement, at least not you know, today. I want to say today. My readings are for right then and there and until. Okay? So, right in this very moment, this person may not be moving towards you. I don't think they are. They're in their feelings. They're in their head and they're in their feels. Okay? Yeah. Three of Swords. This person is very heartbroken. I picked that up. I told you in the beginning this person was carrying some burdens. They are. And I don't know if this person may have gotten left for somebody else. They may be thinking about that. And I feel like that's that's what scares them. Ace of Wands. But it never stops them from having these passionate beginnings. But the problem is these passionate beginnings are sexually based. This person is good at having sexual connections. I don't know if they're good at having relationships. Good at relations, not a good at relationships. Ten of Cups, but they want one. This is a hopeless romantic here. But this person's passion gets in the way of having a heartfelt connection. This is the type of person who would cheat just to have sex. And it would end everything. It's like this person is afraid of commitment. They like flings. Flings are easy to deal with. Flings are easy to invest in because they don't really have to invest feelings at all. But emotions, oof. Emotions, oof. That brings in the thought process. They don't like that. So here they are, exploring their options. I don't even think you guys are talking right now or it's like really light. This person is dating other people. They're seeing what else is out there. But I f this, this is almost an energy of them keeping you on the back burner. Knowing very well what the connection is. But keeping you on the back burner. Or they may be completely ending it. Because this person doesn't want this connection. Page of Cups. See, that's this. this person may be bipolar too. Because now here they are wanting to offer you... Some type of emotions. I don't feel like this person is very apologetic because in their mind, their mind is so complex. They don't feel like they did anything wrong. And and rightfully so, um, it's because this person is not thinking about the other party. They're too consumed in themselves. Even when they're thinking back and they're having nostalgia, they're still thinking about the memories that they had based off of how they felt, how you made them feel, not about how you may have felt or what you may have experienced during this relationship. So, Page of Cups, okay? This person is thinking about coming back to you, you know, showing you some type of emotions, real heartfelt emotions that has nothing to do with passion. This is them really liking you. But, again, you see the green starting to grow again? You kind of balance this person out. You get the wills going for this person. And I think that's what scares them too. There's no green here. This is elusive state. This is passion. This is fire. This is in their head. Just not really growing, but going off of emotions, the dark side of them. Stemming from... This illusion and this passion that they had before. Who they thought were going to bring them light, but it didn't. But when they think about you, it's green. It's growth. It's, it's, it's a foundation. It's down to earth. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Or somebody who's very into stability and the tangible... That, like earthly things okay their emotions are, are based off of that 
And the Ten of Cups is why they, they have this connection with you because you give them the earthly things as well as the love. Okay, but when the Ten of Swords is here, it doesn't matter how much earth is around them, they still feel like everything is dying. Okay, when it's really not. Three of Wands, they're just not sure what to do. You got earth here, water here, and then you have the illusion. So this person is in between worlds right now. Wanting to make you an offer. Trying to come back down to real life again. <laughs> to make an offer. Now here we go. Now here we go. We be thinking. The wheels are turning. They green again. They back in their head. They sober. They sober. Your person is a motherfucker, man. Oh my God. Now... There you are, okay? Here you are. Fine little motherfucker. You look good too, okay? May I point that out, Gemini? You look fucking good. And that's why this person is like, nah, I can't can't let Gemini go. Nah. That one right there is different. You're different, okay? You're so different. And you smell good too. If you're one of those people that like floral smells or light scents, they love that. They love that. Big emphasis on the neck. They may love to be touched on the neck. They love when your hair is pulled back. They like to see your face. This person admires you. So I see them coming forward to make you an offer. But I do feel like it'll take time. Let's see what the outcome is. Because I didn't talk your heads off, but it was good. What is the, um, the outcome, spirit? Give me the outcome for this love story. For this fucking bipolar person that Gemini is dealing with. Too many. <laughs> now, can we talk about the fact that this is an elusive state that this person is into? Ace of Cups. Um, This person loves you, but it's based off of a thought that they made up in their mind. This person does not love you because of the growth that you've given them the light that you shined on them insecurities because you might have not done that yet you may have had small conversations but you've literally scratched the surface of this person you have not gotten into the water with this person yet but they're already in the water with you so you're at the surface with them but emotionally you already are in their heart and they're finding it extremely hard because remember this is not somebody who deals with emotion they're finding it extremely fucking hard seeing how the fuck you got here okay they don't fucking know but i feel like with these moon phases you may notice this person getting more and more emotional this person may come around and and be very loving during these moon phases it's because they're falling in love with you, Gemini. And they know it. They don't know how. But they know it. And so they can't stop coming. Figuratively and probably physically. <laughs> they can't stop. This person is going to go towards this love that they feel for you. Ultimately. And oh, the birds are going to be chirping. Okay. But again, these flowers have turned a whole different color i don't even have time to look up and see what purple means but you may want to see what purple and blue is because blue is a symbolizing of a of a heartbreak you know some dark times but i feel like this person is riding out of that purple is very prevalent to sagittarius you may be dealing with the sagittarius but this person is rushing in with some clarity they got some shit that they want to say to you they want to have a talk about growth, but their way of growing, not your way of growing. Change. This can be them talking to you about changing. Seven of Cups. They want you to help them understand what the fuck is going on. Because they're confused. And they have options. But all of these options are not valuable. And they know that. But you are one of those cups that is infinite for them. You're not even a cup that's here. 
They hold you to a higher pedestal. You a different motherfucking cup. You're a different type of love, Gemini. And a different type of fuck. You are a whole different type. She's so different. Kind of girls you show off to your niggas. Doing things you don't just take in pictures. Because I got that effect on you. Yeah. <laughs> this person is walking away from all those cups. They walking away. They learning. You got some people that's going to be sad. But. This is yours now. And they don't know. Well, how the fuck they gonna do it? Because they don't even know how the fuck they got here. They trying to figure it out. But with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, you're gonna get it. Because they didn't walk away. Ain't nobody else. Nobody else is doing it for them. The Moon card. They don't know why nobody else is doing it for them, but nobody is doing it for them. But bitch, you're doing it for them. Okay? Everybody else is gonna try to copy. They wanna know how the fuck you got them to get here. But, oh, when you get them there, baby girl, baby boy, you're going to get there. Okay. So, let's just get some advice. Advice, spirit. Please give me some advice for my Geminis. Please give me some advice for Geminis, please. Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. I feel like you guys need to put off having sex with this person right now. You guys need to get a little deeper with this person. And I feel like you can't get any deeper with this person if you guys keep just doing the nasty all the time. All right. Very simple. This person is very simple. They're also very controlling. You are going to have to take control of this situation. Yeah. Because I feel like this is something that they are needing to fix in order to have something with you. Because, again, they've been doing this for a while. Dating people, fucking people, you know, being controlling, having options, walking away. Ha this is their thing. But you're about to change this person. You are. Whether you believe it or not. Gemini's. You guys are very powerful, especially these next couple of days. Let's get one card from the Rebel deck. You are very powerful in somebody's life. It says you are loved. I told you. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. And one of your reasons is this person. I told you, you might have been this person's mom in the past. You may be their wife this time or their husband. All right. Thank you, guys.